Garden of the Sailor Sea Curriculum is the Whatcom County affiliate of the nonprofit Pacific Shellfish Institute based in Olympia. We have worked to support students and teachers since 2012 with a shellfish-based K-12 curriculum aligned with the Next Generation Science Standards. Hi everybody, my name is Lindsay and today we are here at Drayton Harbor at Semiamu Park to give you a virtual field trip. This will be a series of videos that will show some of the cool things we can learn about in the intertidal zone. Let's take a moment to recognize where we are. The Coast Salish have a saying, when the tide is out, the table is set. The Coast Salish have been stewards of the Salish Sea and their traditional and customary fishing grounds for thousands of years. They continue to rely on these resources today. Both Birch Bay State Park and Drayton Harbor are important Whatcom County shellfish protection districts with recreational and commercial shellfish resources. Here are some tips for how you can be a good steward while exploring the intertidal zone. For more details on these tips, visit our Family Beach Exploration Guide. Semiamu Park is a Whatcom County park that has access to both Semiamu Bay on the outside and Drayton Harbor on the inside. This park includes a cannery museum, miles of trails, and during salmon season is a popular place to fish from the shore. The two sides of the spit have different habitats. The Semiamu Bay side of the park has more cobble and rocks on the beach. And the Drayton Harbor side is more muddy with eelgrass. This is because there's much less wave action in the inside of the harbor. Here, on, attached to this rock, we have a Pacific oyster. The scientific name for the Pacific oyster is Chrysostria gigas, which are commonly found in Drayton Harbor. The Pacific oyster originally came from Japan, but can now be found throughout the Salish Sea. Oysters prefer rocky habitats that they can attach to. Unlike clams that live in the mud and can move around, oysters attach themselves to the rocks that are on the surface. While we didn't find one on the beach today, there's also a native oyster, the Olympia oyster, Australia luridia. After decreased numbers due to overharvest, there are currently restoration efforts in Drayton Harbor to bring back the native populations. Oysters are filter feeders, which means they use their gills to capture small things like plankton out of the water to eat. This process also cleans the water. Oysters are eaten by seabirds like seagulls, large crabs, sea stars, and humans. When we went on our virtual beach walk at Birch Bay State Park, we found eelgrass called Zostra marina. Here, we also have dwarf eelgrass, the non-native species, known scientifically as Zostra japonica. Dwarf eelgrass grows much thinner and shorter than the common Pacific eelgrass. Dwarf eelgrass also typically grows higher in the intertidal zone than the Pacific eelgrass. But here in the middle of the intertidal zone, both species are mixed. Here on this beach, we have a lot of mud snails, which are called Badalaria. These mud snails are an invasive species that came to the Salish Sea from Asia. They have a very pointed shape and grow up to three centimeters. It is believed that they were introduced when the Pacific oyster was brought from Asia and planted here. You can find them scattered across the mudflats as they skim the surface for diatoms and cyanobacteria. Oh, this is really pretty. So we just found these false green jingle shells. They're a type of oyster. And with this one, you can see how it is attached together. It's a bivalve, so it has two shells. But then it has this circular opening where the foot comes out. And then these are the other halves. They're just single shell at the moment. But they're really neat. They're bright green to blue, really shiny and lustrous. And they're called false cream jingle shells because the Coast Salish people used to make them into necklaces. And they'd wear them and then they'd jingle as they walked. And they're a type of oyster that we find here on the Pacific coast. As you can see right here in the water when we're walking through the sand, sometimes we can find burrowing anemones. There are actually multiple types of anemones you might see burrowed in the sand. This first species is known as the stubby rose anemone, or Eurtacina clandestina. 
It has a short banded tentacles and a red body that is hidden in the substrate. We also found a moon glow anemone, Anthopleura artemisia, which is different from the stubby rose anemone by the long slender tentacles. These anemones get their green color from a symbiotic algae that lives in their skin. In summary, the species we learned in this video are the Pacific oyster, dwarf eelgrass, mud snail, false green jingle shells, stubby rose anemone, and moon glow anemone. Visit our website at gardensalishsea.org for more virtual beach walks, family activities throughout the summer and fall, and sign up for our newsletter. You can also take the Salish Sea Challenge, which has ideas for keeping our watershed healthy.